Daily Devotion Read Isaiah 43 1-3 I was positive for 18 hours By Lilibeth Lamb I was tested positive on rapid antibody test done at our office last July 15, 2020. So I was told to isolate myself for two weeks. The news shocked me and terrified me. So, I told my family about this and asked them what measures I should take. My son who works in Pampanga immediately sent over a box of rack and asked me to retest for confirmation and I retested negative after 18 horrifying hours. Tracing my activities I don't remember any instance that I didn't protect myself nor have been exposed to a COVID-positive person. We have all safety measures possible in place at home, disinfecting mat at the door. Shoe rack outside our house. Air purifier inside the car. Disinfecting counter with UV wand. Alcohol. Lysol wipes. Mask box. And Lysol spray. A table outside the door disinfecting all items before bringing them in. It is a rule for everyone to go straight to the shower after entering the house. And so we started tracing and testing all members of our household, maids, and driver too. One of the maids just returned from vacation last few days of June. Everyone was tested negative, by God's grace. Since rapid test is not accurate, I cannot discredit the fact that I could be positive. I don't like to risk myself going to a lab or hospital to have a swab test or to be exposed because I feel normal and healthy, apart from having anxiety from the initial test result. And regardless of the result, the recommended thing to do is to isolate for 14 days so as not to spread the virus. Since my son, John stays in Pampanga for the whole week, my youngest son Kyle and I sleep in one room at night and stay in our den by daytime. We are practically together 24-7 doing our personal things in our indoor and outdoor activities, apart from my going to work once a week and doing some essential errands. Kyle decided and insisted to be with me regardless what the truth was. He said, Mommy, I am sure we are the same. It was such a comfort to be with somebody during those agonizing moments. And so, two weeks goes on the way things were every day for us for the past few months of ECQ. We disinfected the entire house thoroughly. After two and a half weeks of quarantine, I retested and the result was negative of IgM and IgG which means I was really negative in the first place. A sigh of relief finally. Praise the Lord for His goodness and mercy. In all things, I praise God for being our ultimate protector and healer. I felt the traumatic scare that shook me to the core which became half traumatic after 18 hours, but still there. It makes me ponder how He protected and shielded me, He could even miraculously heal me during those short hours. Only God knows and I will continue to trust Him in all things. In those two weeks, I have written 50 things to be thankful for. His provisions and protection in my journal. What lies ahead is still unknown. But knowing that God is always there and has a purpose for each and every trial that comes our way. I take comfort. Knowing that I am under the care and protection of my Maker. No less than the Creator of our universe. He will surely watch over His children and protect us from all harm. Reflection COVID has turned our world upside down. We would usually tell people to think positive or to be positive. But today, it seems that the best news one could receive is when he get tested and the result is negative. A false positive is a nerve-wracking experience for anyone. But isn't it amazing that through all the positive and negative experiences in our lives, we see how God's protection and provision covers us? How has God provided for you today? Have you spent a few moments thanking Him for your health and safety? Prayer Gracious Heavenly Father, 
In this time of uncertainty, we are surrounded by many fears. Sometimes, we cannot help but become paranoid when we leave the house. Yet, time and again, dear Lord, you remind us that we are under your care, that your love and your precious blood covers us. Thank you, Father, because even in this time of uncertainty, your provision and protection never change. Amen.